Wow. Here we are, uh, not even just barely finishing the first week of April, and uh, we've already got more deaths this week from coronavirus than all of last month. That's crazy. Last month we had 4,000. Now we're sitting at 11,000. That is, that is nuts. Let's read this. Daily Mail. The number of Americans who have died from coronavirus has nearly doubled in the first week of April alone compared to last month's entire death toll. Uh, yeah, by two, two times plus more. It's crazy. The death toll from the pandemic now stands at 11,000 with more than 368,000 confirmed infections across the United States. And of course, obviously, we can expect that number to go up. Figures show the number of fatalities has increased drastically by 7,000 in the first six days of April. Uh, that's because we have hit a point where we are averaging just above uh, 1,000 deaths per day. I had predicted uh, yesterday that we would see 1,280. Today, we saw 1,327, I think it is. Uh, so I wasn't too far off. So it does show that the graph and being able to predict the graph and, you know, uh, predict what we're going to see the next days holds true. Figures show the number of fatalities has increased drastically by 7,000. Yes, and it's almost double the 4,000 deaths that were recorded for the entire month of March when the coronavirus started to spread rapidly across the country. Yeah. Uh, and Boris Johnson, you know, nobody's safe. Boris Johnson, uh, the uh, UK Prime Minister, he's in the hospital in intensive care. He is on oxygen. He has not been intubated, so he, uh, he hasn't gotten drastic, but they have said there hasn't been an improvement yet. The first death on U.S. soil was reported back in Washington State on February 29th. The harrowing figures come as health officials warn this week would be one of the hardest for Americans, given the death toll is expected to continue to rise in such stark numbers. And this is the graph here. Uh, just, yeah. Uh, you can see the patterns developing here. A rise with a drop, a rise with a drop, a rise with a drop, a rise with a drop. So, And that pattern does seem to be holding true. So we should, if this pattern holds true, uh, we should expect, let's see, uh, we should expect a drop tomorrow. I would say about 1,200, and then the day after, another rise if the graph holds true. New data has predicted the peak of the pandemic is still yet to hit on April 16th, where 3,000 deaths are expected to occur in 24 hours. Wow, man, I hope not. I hope not, according to forecasters at the University of Washington's School of Medicine. Now, all these predictions are a computer. They take the information that they currently have. It goes into the computer. The computer makes a prediction. Now, as information changes, that information and that graph and the prediction that the computer makes could be drastically different uh, as new research, new, hmm, new evidence and new models get put in. It could change. It could remain the same, though, as well. I'm just going to let you know all the truths out there. The research predicts the daily number of deaths and infections will decrease and level out as early as June given the lockdown and social distancing measures currently in place over much of the country. Now on that, I mean, I, I hope so. I really do. Uh, I just, I don't know. Peak resource use for hospitals is predicted to occur on April 15th, the day before the peak. <laughs> of course, because, you know, why not? Where an estimated 25,000 ventilators, 140,000 beds, and 29,000 ICU beds will be needed, the data shows. And we don't have them. Health officials have warned that the death toll from coronavirus is much likely higher than is being reported because there is no national streamlined way of reporting fatalities amid the pandemic. New York remains the epicenter of the U.S. outbreak with 599 new fatalities reported on Monday, bringing the total number of deaths in the state to 4,758. There are now 130,689 confirmed infections across the state. That's just the state of New York. That is crazy. Harrowing images have been emerging, showing the dead being loaded onto refrigerated trucks being used as makeshift morgues across New York City. And, and Cuomo is denying it. Cuomo is saying that he hasn't heard of any shortages. He hasn't heard of any uh, semi-trucks being used. So take that into account as well. We seem to have two different official channels, the health officials and then the 
uh, political officials, and they seem to be saying two different things. So make sure you're aware of that and do your own research on these. In addition to New York, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Nevada, Illinois, California, Florida, Washington, and Connecticut are other current hotspots in the country due to rising death tolls and the number of infections. Like I said, we should absolutely expect these numbers to rise. You're, you're kidding yourself if you think that we're done just yet. Uh, inform yourselves. Like I said, it is interesting that we have health officials and hospital workers uh, and some evidence showing that refrigerated trucks are being used and then Cuomo saying he hasn't even heard of there being a shortage. Okay, well, uh, believe who you want, but take everything with a grain of salt and do your own research is what I would suggest. I love you guys. I will inform you to the best of my ability with the best truth to my ability. And if anything I say is wrong, please, dear Lord, point it out. I don't mind being shown I'm wrong. That's why I make myself better. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one.